Hello everyone, I am Dashana. I uh, hope you're enjoying Retrotron so far. It's been uh, really awesome. I've been having a blast watching and taking part. I'm going to be running Ninja Gaiden on the NES. Um, yeah, this game's notoriously difficult. Um, the speedrun makes a lot of it not look so bad, but trust me, uh, when you play this game casually, very much not an easy game. Here we go. Oh, I see these first three guys. Uh, one of the hardest parts of the speedrun to actually nail down and be able to get perfect, uh, ironically enough. You'll see a whole bunch of resets from high level players on this level because of those first three guys. Um, but once we get past them, it's not too bad. So the secret to this game uh, is getting this item here, the spin slash. Uh, while Ryu is in the air spinning with this attack, he's dealing damage to enemies every single frame that he is uh, in contact with them. And since the NES runs at 60 frames a second, that's 60 pips of damage every single second. Uh, and we're going to take good advantage of that to delete these bosses, if I can do it correctly. Oh my goodness. Uh, so there's another interesting quirk that I just had happen there. If you uh, jump and slash and then uh, land within the right frame window, you will be locked out of your sword. And so I wasn't able to do the spin slash. But we're moving on to level two here. Uh, as in level one and all levels except for three, we're just essentially um, running through as fast as possible until we get the spin slash and then uh, the levels are really not too bad. Uh, we take advantage of some fun platforming glitches like that. Uh, normally you're wanting to jump up against the wall and onto the platform. We can just clip into it though. Uh, one thing that really um, will speed up your game, your play uh, over the, the course of the game is to learn to quick climb. So Ryu moves a lot faster up a ladder um, while you're jumping than climbing. His climbing speed is pretty slow, but uh, while jumping, uh, you can get quite a bit of verticality. So you want to jump and then uh, grab the ladder or wall that you're on again very quickly. Uh, and you'll gain quite a bit of time throughout the run, but it can get <laughs> pretty uh, tricky to get consistent with it. Oh, I wanted that. Okay. I'm probably going to have less to say about this run while I'm doing it um, than some other games that I've played or other runners because uh, it does take quite a bit of concentration and uh, it's not exactly easy. So as you can see though, the spin slash here just basically makes you completely invincible as long as you um, know when to use it, you walk through the entirety of the game. Uh, this boss has a fun little quirk. If you're slightly too far to the right when you do your little double jump there, you'll kill the weapon that he's spinning around, the like um, anchor, it almost looks like, hook. Uh, you can destroy the weapon and deal no damage to the boss, which not not so fun, but it's kind of funny to look at. At level three, I think this stage, despite not having the spin slash, might be my favorite just because of uh, how pretty the background is. At least in this section. The next part's kind of ugly. It's full of snow. Uh, looks kind of like ice cream or something to me. So ideally I wanted to throw a shuriken there to grab that Art of the Fire Wheel Nimpo that I picked up, uh, which we're going to use for the boss here. But uh, I missed the throw, so we did a little bit of a backup. Um, doesn't lose too much time if you do it quickly. There is, if you don't want to do that, or you miss it die something in this level there is another backup um, in this next bird that's down uh, below and on the right there's an art of the fire wheel in there just jumping through grabbing some nimpo we want to make sure we have enough there what's known uh, in the ninja gaiden speedrunning community as the standard kill on this boss um, is extremely extremely difficult looks really swag um, I'm going to be taking a still pretty quick, but slower and safer, uh, just throwing a bunch of fire wheels at the boss's feet as they jump around. Make pretty quick work, but you got to make sure you have enough Nimpo, which 
at the end of the stage here, as the timer counts down, the amount of ninpo that you have also will count down, and that's losing frames for each uh, extra ninpo you have at the end of the stage. So, much like in the Castlevania runs, you want to have as little of your resource at the end of a level as possible. Um, and that's why the standard kill is uh, what people try to go for, because it uses more slashes and less uh, ninpo, so you can be... Your, your buffer of uh, time there is a little bit easier. Go for a skip there. That can kill you. Uh, it's not exactly marathon safe, but um, it doesn't always kill you if you fail it either. I'll try and quick climb up this ladder a bit. Coming up on 4-2, which has the best song in the entire game in it. And uh, one of the best things about current world record holder, the Retro Runners runs of this game is on this level, he has, oh no, he has a song that he sings. Uh, with lyrics that goes along with him jumping on the bridge, killing the guys, trying to stab him in the back, but no. Oh my gosh. Unlucky. Uh, it's very entertaining. I highly suggest going and watching his world record run. Uh, it's on It's on his YouTube channel, and it's uh, an amazing run. It's uh, The tear that he's been on setting new world records at this game has been very much impressive to watch. Uh, I think Arcus, I saw him practicing some too, so I, I hope that we can get some good competition going. All right, so obviously 4-2, uh, uh, as you can see, it's very easy to get knocked back by enemies and fall into pits. Uh, that's true throughout the game when you're playing it as intended. Um, and if you're just uh, not performing so well in a speed run. But we made it. We made it in 4-3, the Spin Slash. There is no more Spin Slash uh, in this level, so if I die here, then you have to do the boss without it, which... Uh, this boss is not too bad to do without it. Um, two jumping demon statues. One of them can be hurt, the other one can't. We'll see them in a minute. Oh my gosh. This guy's throwing warning stars at me. So uh, the way that the spin slash works is that when you jump in the air and push the attack button, he'll use up to five ninpo and do the spin slash. Um, however, you can do what's called a slash cancel by hitting down and B at the same time in midair. Uh, this allows Ryu to just do the normal sword slash uh, while he has the spin slash equipped. Um, we also can take advantage of it. Uh, like if I didn't have spin slash here, you can slash quite quickly in midair if you do it right. Normally you have to wait until the animation is complete. But with the, the cancel, um, it's as, basically as fast as you can press the buttons, assuming you're hitting them in the same frame. Um, and that's how we're going to be killing the last boss as well. Assuming I don't die and have to start the entire stage over again. So, uh, as you saw, when I took a game over there in 4-2, I started back over in 4-2. And at every other point in this game, if you take a game over, then you'll start uh, in the stage that you're on. However, I believe it's a programming error. Um, anytime in stage 6, 6 1, 6 2, 6 3, or 6 4, which is where the last bosses are. Um, oh no. Ooh, almost took it out there. Um, if you die at any point in the, in the sixth stage, you go back to 6 1. So you could be on Jackio or the Demon at the very end of the game and die and be sent all the way back to the beginning of the level. Um, very punishing. One of the reasons that a lot of people never finish this game, um, because you get so far and you fought so hard, and the game's just like, okay, time to be cruel. But uh, the, uh, the upside of that if you die on Jackio or the Demon, you can come back into that stage with Spin Slash, and um, the, the nature of cutscenes in this game is why you lose it um, between levels and between uh, the first last boss in Jackio is because of cutscene play. So you don't get a cutscene, and you get to keep your Spin Slash, which is kind of neat. You can go kill those bosses in one hit and get your revenge. 5-3. I really enjoy this level. 
Um, there's a really cool boost I'm gonna go for called the SP boost. It's not easy, but it looks really cool and saves like a second, maybe. Not very much time at all. Um, I actually need this Ninpo. I didn't want to run back like that, but... However, uh, casually, the first time when I played through this game, um, for the first time about a year ago, oh, I totally whiffed that. <laughs> this stage was the sticking point. Uh, I think it would take me maybe an hour or so uh, to get to this point. And then uh, it was another two hours before I finished this level. And then we don't talk about level six the first time I played through this game, or the first time anybody's played through this game. All right, this boss is super hard, especially with Spin Slash for some reason. Oh wait, no, I like Spin Slash is uh, cheat code. There's uh, this guy in the story. I guess Ryu's father was supposedly killed in a duel with this guy, and he's like, "No, I didn't kill your father." I don't know. To be honest, I don't know the story of this game. It, I, I skip the cutscenes because they're slow. They're really cool. The pixel art's amazing, especially for the era and it was when it was made. Um, oh no. All right, yeah, we're on to stage six. This stage uh, looks really hard because it's pretty hard. And like I said, if you take a game over here, you're starting back at 6-1. Uh, so, I, yeah, thinking back to what I said, I was incorrect when saying it's not at any point in stage 6 that you'll take a game over and go back to 6-1. It's only on the bosses. If I take a game over here in 6-2, I'll start over in 6-2. Same as 6-3. So, uh, I'm not, not meaning to purposefully uh, spread misinformation. I correct myself, hopefully. Coming up on what's affectionately known as the Hell Hallway. If you do not have Spin Slash and a plan through this next room, <laughs> this is the room why nobody finishes this game casually. Uh, but with Spin Slash, it's very, very easy. There's a couple of really neat boosts you can do here. I'm going to take the slower, safer one. And I'm going to fail it. Nice. We made it, though. 6-3, there's, uh, you can take a death if you want to refill your health, um, because there is a spin slash right here, but I'm gonna wager on marathon luck going my way for once. I'm gonna be taking a bird boost here some jumps at just the right timing to spawn this bird at such a height that uh, <laughs> I can use him to boost. All right, so there is no more spin slash, um, but it's not that big of a deal. Like I said, uh, cutscenes will take your uh, sub weapons away in this game. And um, the first boss of the three at the end is not that much slower without um, spin slash, as long as I can do some, some good cancels. bit slow because safe is slow but safe is fast take a couple of hits here because the cutscene will also refill our health as long as we make it in it's all good all right last three bosses here we go clown nose as he's known so a lot of uh, the really good runners of this game, they have a special grip that they switch to to do those slash cancels on these last bosses, and they get some absolutely absurdly fast uh, slash cancels going. You get way more slashes per jump than I can ever dream of, and I am taking a lot of hits here. So ideally, you want to slash him a couple of times as he's approaching you, duck under him, and then slash him again as he's on his way out. I am doing disastrously. That's okay. As long as it dies. Right, coming up on the very last boss here, the demon. 
I'm going to jump and kill its head. Hopefully in three, no, four jumps. And then just for marathon safety, I'm going to kill the tail. You do not have to. The fastest skills, uh, they just, they take advantage of the way that the tail's hitbox works. It's only active in certain sprites. And then uh, you just jump up and kill him. That's time at zero. All right, 1441. That is a, that's a time. Um, yeah, this game's pretty tough uh, casually and it has a reputation for that for a reason. But once you start to learn the speed run, you can get it under 15 minutes, even not doing super hot. So um, if you've ever seen this game and thought, wow, that looks really hard, I don't think I can do it, you can. Um, and I highly recommend looking up some tutorials on the speed run because you really do feel pretty, pretty awesome when you can play through this game. Yeah, that's been me. Um, I hope you've been enjoying Retrothon. I know I have been and uh, peace.